Hello the kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Fallout 4. Alright, when we left off, I am dying. <laughs> I, uh, my throat decided it wanted to go after I got done being sick, so now I'm going to sound like this. It's a little bit epic sounding, I think, but at the same time, this is about all I can manage. This is not fun to do. <laughs> so, that said, I figured out I'm completely batshit insane because I completely overlooked the power armor frame that is there, just not where it was marked. Uh, I mentioned it in the last video uh, through captions because I found it while I was editing the video. Um, I should probably go over there to... <coughs> I should probably go over there to show what the problem was. There we go. Gonna be drinking coffee every now and then to try and settle the throat down, but, uh... Yeah. Uh, I'm dying. <laughs> and I'm forcing myself to do this video. Uh, I might cut it down a little bit, just FYI. Anyway, this, uh, was not the trailer that I expected to see it in. Uh, this one was the one I was looking for it in, or at least I was supposed to look for it in. It was right here, right on the outside. I never noticed it once. I'm an idiot. <laughs> that said... Uh, not much of it I wanted in the first place. Uh, I did not need the torso. I forgot I had already looked at that. And there was no point in having the torso when it's no use. So, I explored this entire thing for no real reason. And, uh, the power armor frame's right here. But, yeah. From the look of that you probably wouldn't have been able to tell it was right there. It looked like it was more right on top of it than anything else. That was really goofy of the game and goofy of me to not notice it. Eh. So, uh, that's about it. <laughs> I figured out the game had a bit of a goof up, and so did I. So I wanted to show where uh, that goof up happened. That said, I want to go back to Sanctuary just to uh, move one of mine so I can start getting repairs done on some of them. Uh, I'm hoping to get some T60 before I head out into the glowing sea, mainly because I like the look of T60 and really the durability of it, because short of a uh, X01 it's the best armor that you can get the best power armor rather so there we go uh yeah I already dumped all my junk last time what am I thinking uh, where's yeah it's over here now my brain's getting affected by my throat fucked up <laughs> by my throat being fucked up I can't even talk great I'm going to die. Uh, wanted to double check these real quick. See that their uh, health is all good. As you can see that their health is all the way to uh, the thousands range instead of the hundreds range. Uh, that was part of that durability mod I was talking about earlier. At least for that one. Uh, this one's going to be like seven... 50 for all of the parts, which is fine. That's to be expected. Like I said, I'll, I want the T60 because it is uh, the second most durable after the uh, X01. And the X01, uh, I've heard that it kind of fucks with the perception from settlers and all of that thinking that I'm a scary motherfucker when I don't want to be, so I'm going to try and avoid that if I can. My voice is fucking up, and I'm kind of having fun with it. 
<laughs> Just a little bit. Okay. I'm going to... What should I be doing? Should be kind of going after a guaranteed piece of... Uh, or at least guaranteed set of T60 armor. But that would involve trying to find the... Uh, Adam Cats and... Not quite in a position I can do that, honestly. 95, that's right on the edge of the glowing sea there, and uh, that would help Kate, but uh, not entirely sure if we're set to do that whole trek yet. I mean, we probably should at least get somewhat of the way there, because, I mean, it's only a matter of time until I start doing that story mission. So, okay, my phone apparently got fully charged. Uh, decided to beep anyway, so I'm going to assume that's the case. Uh, Nakano, yeah, that's for the DLC, uh, Far Harbor. Far Harbor. Um, what, was, what was the thing here? Uh, I don't remember what the mission was for that, for the Revere Satellite Array don't right remember it's not telling me either so that's annoying um, I just want to keep checking uh, huh yeah it's not telling me it's not telling me that's annoying oh well I'm just gonna keep on going the way I was planning uh, mainly trying to get somewhere else. <laughs> Story of the Century. Reveal? I don't fucking know. Uh, Revia? Uh, dude, <laughs> my brain is broken. <laughs> and my throat is broken. Cut me some slack. <laughs> I have no idea what that says. Um... Fuck. What should I do? That's the biggest question of the century right now that I don't know how to answer. Uh, what is this? College Square. Uh, it might behoove me to go over there. The Pikmin Gallery, maybe not. The Shamrock Tap House, maybe not. A Lucigen. Uh, that would really not behoove me. Hmm. We got something in Hagman's Alley. We got something in Vault 81. I don't remember what these missions are. Uh, let's go to Backstreet Apparel and head over there and find out what is actually going on. Because I honestly don't know. It'd be better off for me if I find out. Ah! My fucking voice. It's weird. I have the chromed mod for the alien gun, but it doesn't do it for it in the loading screens. That's weird. Or at least I'm supposed to have the chrome to mod. Uh, maybe it's not working for me. Because I have it downloaded. I have it installed. I showed you it two episodes ago. Yeah, it was two episodes ago. I had to think, wait a minute, is that right? Yeah, that was right. So, I don't know. Oh, dicks. Okay, well, that started off poorly for me and for them in a regard. Okay. There we go. Uh, oh, geez. Hey there, buddy. Then now you're dead. <laughs> All right. What do we got over here? Okay. It was this guy. This little shit. Uh, kind of. Kind of, sort of. Maybe. Okay, uh... This guy have? Not a lot. Okay, well... That fucking sucks for him. And slightly for me. Took that, so that way... The trap, if I run into it, won't fuck me over completely. Uh, what do we got here? Ooh, we got some 10mm rounds. Got a stim pack. I wasn't planning on it, Kate. 
really wasn't planning on it. Believe me. I know what I'm doing. I'm the king of loot. And looting. Mainly because it's easy. <laughs> About it. Okay. Perfect. And I think, uh, no, I won't go in there. I want to figure out what this mission was about. So, should I head over here and, uh, find that out? I'm trying to also make sure I don't run into any traps on the way there. Which I know I will anyway. Because it's me. And I'm a dumb. I'm a dumb, dumb, dummy, dumb, dumb. Okay. Uh, nothing too special in the way of a uh, city block around here. Huh. Wait a minute. Where am I heading again? A hangman's Alley. Oh, this is a Preston mission, I think. Uh, yeah, taking point, hangman's Alley. That, okay, that's for, uh, Preston. Okay. At least I managed to eventually figure this out. Uh, for the time being, I'm going to check here. Not a damn thing. Okay, great. Well, fuck me for trying to be exploratory. Because I guess that's not rewarded anymore. Okay. There's Hangman's Alley. Um, oh, there's some raiders. There's that one dealt with. All right. Motherfuckers. I'm coming to blow some of you away. Get ready, because it's not going to be fun for you. And I'm going to sound like this the entire time, so you're going to be really emasculated, because I sound like a 10-year-old boy, just with my voice breaking everywhere. Right. Ah. Okay. There's that. And, oops, uh-oh. Okay. That worked out. Ah, hoo, that was a good headshot. Alright. Why would you say that, Kate? You know they would. You know they would lovingly do that. Okay. Come on now. Come on, you little shit. Get shit on if I can actually hit you. All of those were great accuracy. This guy fucking shoot everywhere but him. What the fuck was that about? Alright. Grab their ammo. Oh, yeah, I gave... Uh, I don't know if I went over this. I took Kate's rifle uh, and gave her the little pistol there. Gave her the little P99 because the damage output for the P99 as opposed to the rifle is far higher. At least with me. Hey, hey, I can now use the workshop at Hangman's Alley. But this place is also extremely crowded, so... If I start doing anything with it, it'll have to be after I break a lot of stuff down. And I am not ready to do that yet. At least not before uh, for, uh, turning off the camera. <laughs> Sound like a fucking ten-year-old boy again. There you go. Okay. We got some stuff there. Not a lot of good stuff, but it's some stuff. Um, hmm. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, there's, I knew there was someone else. Uh, the Marksman's Hardened Automatic Pipe Rifle. That's decent. It's not great, but it's decent. Um, got some stuff back there. Uh, Fragmentation Grenade. That's always good. Um, does this, uh, pocketed, girded, uh, leather chest piece. Yeah, it's not really worth picking up, honestly. Um, jet and Mentats. Got the weapons workbench back here, which is pretty good, but not really necessary. Break that down for the springs and screws. I could if I wanted to. Uh, I don't really want to right now. Uh, I could have sworn there was more... At least one more. Kate. You are adorable. You are fucking adorable. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. I knew there was another head somewhere. And I guess I found the head. 
And where's the body? There's the body. Okay. That explains a lot. All right. Well, this was done. Uh, but now they want me to do the thing regarding Hangman's Alley, which uh, is build the place up. And I kind of don't want to do that right now. I uh, kind of just want to let it sit for a bit. Anyway, my throat is starting to hurt a little bit. And uh, quite frankly, I should uh, be getting ready for work, <laughs> even though I am clearly sick. Or sick-ish. Sick enough. But uh, we don't have enough people, so I don't get to take time off. Yay. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here for right now because there's nothing else I really want to do. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll probably do it before I uh, start recording next episode and you get to see all of this transformed into something else entirely. Well, I mean, a good three-fourths of it transformed into something else entirely. Anyway, thank you. Uh, whew, I can't even start my outro right. Yay! Okay. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. Share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode if I have not died from throat cancer yet. I'm assuming it's probably not throat cancer, just a sore throat. But still, this is not fun. And I think it might possibly be. I mean, two-thirds of cancer you can't afford anyway. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and uh, taking over Hangman's Alley from Raiders while also looking at how adorable Kate is for you.